It was sixteen dollars. It was eight wings, some fries. Uh -huh. I got short of the wing, and then one of the wings was like abnormal. So I, no. in my mind, I got six wings for my sixteen dollars. I ain't disregarding or you know discredit discrediting the spot. I told the girl it was all good. Still tip tough. Got the drink. We left. The game was over. We left. I get to my next spot. I ain't gonna say the name. We go to a, uh oh. A, <laughs> we go to a stripper spot. Mm -hmm. And I pay to get in. We get there. And I feel like I done built up my tolerance a little bit. So I had already been drinking. I told you I had already did all that. We got some drink when we was at Josephine. We get to the stripper spot. We ready to turn up. We both get a double shot. It's supposed to be Hennessy. I tell you, I might have drunk the shot or I might have took a sip. And maybe five minutes later, I start sweating. Crazy sweating. Looked at my girl. She said, you are? I said, no, nah, I'm trying to get it together. I ain't even looking at the girls. I'm facing the bar now. I'm, I'm trying to hold myself up on the bar. Come what to find out. I, this is why I don't want to say the name of the place. Come to find out. My girl, she looked at me. She said, that ain't Hennessy. <gasps> what is it? I don't know. <laughs> you know? I don't know. <laughs> and and here, go the, here go the ghetto rest part of me. So because I know I spent $33 on these double shots, and I know I'm at the point where I don't feel like I can drink it, I do some more of what I do to get myself trying to balance out. And I felt like I was okay. So I took another sip. Start sweating again. Immediately, I'm like, okay, yeah, this ain't Hennessy. So I don't throw it away. This is the ratchet ghetto part. Uh -huh. So I take the little Hennessy, or take both our double shots and pour it in the water bottle because I had got some water. We get home the next day. I'm telling myself, I don't want to waste my money. Now I sip it. I don't have nothing else going on. Uh -huh. I know for a fact this not Hennessy. Uh -huh. So I'm like, wow, I did what y'all doing to folks out here? What if I had to ruin my whole night because I'm thinking this Hennessy and I would just threw it back or something like that? Because wow. in my mind, I already, I, I'm putting in my body what I know I can take or what I'm used to or this and that. Y'all mixing me up and y'all got me I out here. I don't even drink, so y'all would have had to peel me off the oh, floor. Like, man. somebody oh, get a, a, a barrel of Pushamani, right? Didn't, it didn't, that didn't go right either. So I didn't even get a dance. I done went to the strip club, didn't even get a dance. Like, I, after I took that second sip, I think I had told her, like, we finna leave in like 30 minutes. I took the second, second sip. That same feeling came again. We left in like five minutes after I said that. Let's go. Let's oh, go. Oh, wow. But that's... You I, didn't say nothing to, to you, the establishment? I'm messed up. Okay, wait. Um, at this point, I'm I'm telling her, let's get out of here because I don't want to buy no more of y'all water and I want to go and get to the house. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to get to the house. So when we get outside, I'm getting my fresh air. She said, you feeling think you can drive? Better? Yeah, I'm feeling a little better. You think you can drive? Yeah. Now when we wake up and I say, I'm trying to Go on and finish this bottle because I don't just want to throw it away. I spent $33 on it. Right. No, nah, this not Hennessy. This not Hennessy. And that's, that's when I started feeling like that's messed up. I don't know if I'm supposed to call somebody or if I'm supposed to report these folks. Now, how do you even prove it? Right. You get what I mean? But that I don't think that's that's not cool, y'all. <laughs> that's not wow. cool, y'all. And my wife knew what it was or what the move was because her sister-in-law do bartending. And she had already told her, yeah, the clubs keep the old bottle. I don't know, Hennessy, Syrah, whatever. They keep the old bottles, and they banking on you coming in there messed up. So they buy some cheap stuff, and they pour in the bottle. So you get to see them pour out Syrah in your cup. That's what you no. think anyway. Or you get to watch them pour Hennessy, but that's not Hennessy. Wow. <laughs> I don't and know. what was that at again? I he didn't say. say. He didn't want to stop. <laughs> I'm making sure I don't know it. It was on the east side. Y'all, I'm going to have to just bake me a cake and stay home for my birthday. <laughs> So that was That's that. crazy. That was that. It's more to it, but it's, I'll leave it at that. So, you, what's, your, what's your plan B then? You, you still haven't celebrated. I still haven't celebrated. Right. I had went, okay. I had booked the room. I reserved the room. Uh-huh. I, I guess I don't get out much. So, I said part of the what I wanted for my room, I want either a jacuzzi in the room mm -hmm. or I want a bath. Okay. I do my inebriation tactics. So, we get to the room uh -huh. and... The, the balcony is in the building. I never seen. I, I never, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So what do you see, a wall? I see other people looking at me. No. Like we all look like this is a balcony and this is they, they living room and they bedroom facing me and this is my living room, my bedroom facing them. So if I go out on the balcony, I want to leave my door open. They get to see my whole bedroom or they get to see my whole living room and vice versa. This ain't no privacy. This ain't. 
This is not. That this wasn't is, the embassy, was it? No, it okay. wasn't the embassy. This was a uh, yeah, double, double tree by Hilton. Oh, it's still a Hilton property. Yeah, they are Hilton property. I did not know they they did that. They That's not, not false advertising. Yeah, I was about to say they shouldn't even say so that. I had my girl look up. I said, look up balcony on on Google. And so it don't say nothing about it has to be outside. It says a structural something held up by some beams on the wall or something. So, so now we have to be specific. You say, have you need to say like I want an outside or outdoor balcony. balcony. So oh, when yeah. I seen that, I immediately felt guilt, and I, that's not what I wanted. And so we left. I, right now, I was supposed to be I, not planning on it, but I was supposed. I had already told myself. I guess I'm gonna have to call for fun until I ain't gonna be able to make it because I thought I was gonna be having a good time today. <laughs> I never even got to make the call because as soon as we got in there and I sink the room, I was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Good. You know, they wait, they make you wait two, three days to get back on your card and all that crap. But that's another thing. I put some money on my card because I don't like folk dibbing in and out of my debit card. Right. So I got a Walmart card that I put certain stuff. I like do if that I want to order yeah. something, I do it on that card. I don't want I folk dibbing. I have a dibbing. separate card. Yeah, I don't yeah. like folk, folk I don't want to dibbing just. in my real money. Yeah, yeah. in my real money, <laughs> that part. So I went and put, I think the room was 270. They rung it up. It came up to two ninety for whatever reason. They put twenty more dollars on. I think it's supposed to get back. So I went and put three hundred dollars on the card. Uh -huh. I get back and I try to swipe the card. The card not working. Huh? And we, me and my girl, are like, what is the problem? So we did this probably about three or four times. I go back to Walmart again. I put some more money on the card. Now the card swipe. So now me and her is faced with. So folks is lying to you when they charge your card. You're not telling us what you really charge because I put what you said you were charging. Not they to mention, extra, so, uh, not to mention these folks charging you twenty five dollars a night to park your car, and right. you already reserved your room. I don't know this. Yeah, all of this is a turn off. <laughs> like yeah. I have, I had said I was gonna just dismiss the fifty dollars that because we were gonna stay for two nights. Mm -hmm. I had to dismiss that part. But the you charging me the extra, I think they had ended up. They wanted at least three thirty five or something like that on the card. I think I only had like three twenty something on the card. Uh, all of that, the, the the misleading, all of that. I just I said I don't want it. So we're gonna try it again next week. That's all I can say. But just wow. celebrate the whole month. The rest of the month just be done with you. Celebrate the rest yes, of the month. Yes, you got to. You just gotta go hard the rest of the month. I think so. Cause yeah. none of that went right. <laughs> Well, you scared right. me because my birthday is on Sunday and I'm worried because my plans ain't quite went as planned already. Really? So I'm on plan B of my plans, but we're going to just roll with the punches. A lot and... of companies and businesses <laughs> feel like they can short you on your services on what you're, what they're supposed to be doing for you too because of COVID. And that sucks. Yeah, uh huh. You're right. Charge but... you the same price, but once you get down to the nitty gritty and the details, oh, we don't do that no more. We stopped doing that because of COVID. It's like, well, you supposed to tell me that. Right. Or you front. supposed to fall back on the price or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Folks ain't, folks ain't doing right. Lord have mercy. What well, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I ain't going to let it get me down. I, if I could sing, I'll sing happy birthday, but I can't, so I don't want to scare you away. It's about that kind. It's about that kind. I appreciate it. Oh, Lordy. Well, I wanted to do an icebreaker to start our, our conversation on love and relationships. Have y'all seen that show, um, Married at First Sight, or heard of it, or know what I'm talking Is about? Is it on Netflix? It come, I know it come on regular TV. It may come on Netflix, I too. I don't know. I think they got some shows on Netflix. So, basically, the concept is, I forgot what station, I want to say... B E T not I don't know. Anyway, it comes on a, a national channel. Um and so the concept is um two people that find that they are ready to get into a committed relationship. Um they allow a whole professional team find them a match. So it consists of a matchmaker, clergy, a counselor. Um, it may be some other components as well, but it's a whole squad, like a professional squad. You go through this intense interview to, to really list out exactly what you want. And they're like Houdini. They make it happen. Like, they're like, voila. You I ask. Know, it. Yeah. Um, wow. But guess what? The first time you meet this person is walking down the aisle. Oh, no. no. So it's literally married at first sight. So you married them. And you're like, hey, I'm Siobhan. What's your name? At the altar. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you, like, you, yeah, not even a pre-conversation. You like, get a profile about this person. So you'll know, but no physical looking. I did get to see him, though. No, no, um, no picture whatsoever. 
but you get all their business like so they can do background trade all that they do the works on these people um so what you get is like an envelope or something let's just say hypothetically and so it's going to say hi you're getting married to and you may even know their name i'm not sure about that part you may know their name they're um uh real estate agent for such and such they live in florida they are 22 years old they don't have any children like you get a profile but you don't see what they look like and you also um like their family everybody's there it's a full-fledged wedding like not no little play play type joint this is real like with the courts and the government like i really married this person that i just met today and so you here come the bride walking down the aisle aisle Talk about the scrutiny she's under, cause his family and everybody seeing you for the first time. Everybody, right, so right. they looking like, who is this girl? Does she look like? Where she come? It's yeah. So they're on season like six now. They're doing Married at First Sight first Australia. So what happens is they get married, say I do, get to know each other at their wedding, and then they go on a honeymoon. And throughout the honeymoon, this whole professional team follows them everywhere to help them through conflict, intimacy, everything. So I'm supposed to create chemistry off of the person I met today. Mm-hmm. Like, hurry like, up. Enough chemistry <laughs> to do. <laughs> enough Come on, chemistry get with it. <laughs> to, like, to create a real love, honeymoon. Tell me you love me. No. <laughs> I think at the honeymoon, I'm going to want to talk. Yeah. I mean, I know this is the time for something else, but I, I want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really want to talk. And that's the thing. Some of them go ahead and quote unquote commence their marriage the night of. And some of them is like, well, I just met you. So no, we ain't doing the booty, even if you are my husband. Like, yeah. I just. <laughs> I, just I know it, Shada. Like, I really want this to think. Like, I can't just jump in the sack with you, Shada. Uh-uh. I don't care how much research they did on you. I normally and, and you're this not obligated most, to this. This should be with any human. I go with my gut and mm-hmm. what I see when I'm looking at you and looking you in your eyes, and, and this will tell me if I feel like you're promiscuous or mm-hmm. if I feel like you lying or something. Like I need to talk to you, right? If we're gonna do the honeymoon part, like because I don't want to be like, all right, we're gonna do everything but this, this, and this, because I don't really know you yet. You lead a wedding right. and you yeah, go on a, a, to an exotic resort and y'all have a honeymoon for like a week. And then guess what else? I mean, everything then when you do come, it. When you come <laughs> home from the honeymoon, y'all y'all have agreed whose house you going to. You Like y'all move straight into somebody else. Wow. Like it ain't no game. Like it's for real, for real. Yes. So right now they're doing Australia, but they've been all across the world doing this. Like they were casting right here in Atlanta for it. Really? Yes, yes. Yeah. Man, I didn't know. We, Sheree, let's sign up, Sheree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I can't, it's, I can't. I would have, I'll tell you what, uh-huh. let me keep it real, I'll tell you what. Uh-huh. We would have took advantage of nice uh, resort. We okay. took, and then we probably did the no, man. I'd be like, you're really trying to do this? You don't know me for real. <laughs> I don't know you for real. Man. Look, these folks paying for this. You wanna, right, let's make a memory, and then when we get back, we're just going to say, yeah, hey, I, I might do that. Especially if she look up the part, but if she look up the part, <laughs> yeah, but even with the, if she cute as a bat, <laughs> even with the profile and all the investigation, I just can't marry you off of that. Something, something in me is supposed to say marry this person, but I guess if you feel like I feel, you wouldn't even be on the show. That maybe that's it's really I, interesting I to me. It really is, but yeah, I'm just like. That's deep. Okay, so they've had all kind of different, you know, conflicts that you can imagine. Like they get to arguing, crying, like they love each other for real. Like it's love real. that part for real. Yeah. You can't love that person for real. <laughs> you can't. And so the like they have counseling. They'll go to counseling, and he won't pick up his clothes, or he won't, you know, like they'll be legit, wow. you know. Y'all gotta watch it. And we gotta watch it. we gotta revisit this conversation, and so y'all okay. can tell me. <laughs> I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch that. That's, that's deep. Yeah, that's it's pretty deep. interesting, but it's to me, it's it really just caught. I don't even watch a lot of TV, yeah. but that caught my interest. I was just like, they just kidding, and then the whole season went by, and I'm still they just kidding. They you can't wait for be. them to come back with. The, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. So yeah. ain't no stories about this ain't working. Or... Yeah, they have some, and some of them stay together. And some of them are still And married. so they've been like through, I don't know, maybe six or seven seasons, and they've had reunions and everything where and some of the couples still? are still together. Wow. Yep. Uh huh. Mary at first sight, y'all. Well, Check it out. Yes, and tell me what you think. I don't think it works. <laughs> <laughs> Well, did you get a chance to read the guest book last from last week, Siobhan and I started because I, okay. I, I was finishing uh, Jay Wellesby's book, and I finished it. Okay. He has to do a sequel. Yeah, he's, he's, he he's finished sequel. the sequel. He said he's editing. Uh-huh. Well, he's in the editing stage right now, but I finished that book, which is uh-huh. called Changed by Jay Wellesby. Okay. Check it out. It left me on the edge. He, okay. He has to do a sequel. Yeah. And then I started a few pages in number four, Real okay. Talk. Okay. I did. I did start it, and I think the very beginning of it is really just telling you how to do the post-it part. Okay, okay. And so with that, I don't have nothing to tell y'all just yet. Okay. we started it <laughs> on that Monday. Okay. And we gave each other seven days. So she has actually two of my birthday tomorrow to okay. do my request. Uh-oh. She didn't give me one. She said she wanted to wait. So okay. it's all about me. So tomorrow. Oh, because it's your birthday. It's birthday. That's so sweet. So I don't have to focus Aww. on her. No request for her. She, she supposed to deliver for me tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, so I can't wait. So next Sunday, I have my follow-up. Okay. Next Sunday, I have my follow-up. Uh, <laughs> well, that's exciting. Well, to catch you up real quick, Cherise, so we had two um, guests on the show previously, separate um, occasions. Um, one of the gentlemen, his name is Jay, he wrote a book called Change. Mm-hmm. Um, it's about uh, sexual addic- addiction, like extreme sexual addiction mm-hmm. where the husband lived a whole nother life and the wife, to my mm-hmm. understanding, doesn't about know it. anything about it. Nothing about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. So and you'll never look at cheating the same. Right. That's what it says on the front of the book, and I agree. <laughs> now the other couple um they wrote a book it's called number four jeff and yes jeff and siobhan and um they wrote co-wrote it together as a husband and wife and um basically number four is whatever you want it to be really but it's about sex yes it's about the taboos of sex i, I would say it's, they were saying they got the concept because they was in a class and people was acting like they were tiptoe, tiptoeing around the word nobody wanted to say it and they were like dang we all wrong so everybody called it number four. Because so it was more or less a, a church-oriented um, ministry of counseling. So, you know, that's why they was kind of, if I if I understood it correctly, yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so then they, they left us with uh, like, exercise yeah. or some homework to try, and they just told all the listeners to, in your relationship, get you some post-its, and between five to seven days, you and your spouse come up with something that you want to do or you you desire for them to do or fantasy or something like that. And they cannot say no. They have to do it. And they have at least five to seven days to complete the mission, whatever you whatever you might have put on there. You know? yeah. And y'all are supposed to discuss it. Uh, but they have to do it. There's, there is no worming out of it. You have to do it. And then y'all discuss it with the, the pros and the cons out. If it's something y'all will do again, did y'all like it, blah, 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 that type of thing. Supposed to bring you close together and create more communication, that type of thing. I loved it. I thought the idea was great. So I'm waiting to see. I'll tell y'all about it next week. <laughs> so my, my suggestion was if you don't like it, just act like you don't see the sticky note. You know what I mean? Just keep, don't even look at the refrigerator. Like, <laughs> say, look no, right I'm kidding. <laughs> I told her, I said, when you see it, remove it. Because I'm, I'm going to keep going back to see this. You see it? Because <laughs> I'm going to put it in a certain spot. And if once you see it, you got to take it. Okay. So I know that you done seen it. Okay. That's a good rule. <laughs> well, let's let's jump into some love and relationships topics t- today. I know. I didn't really write a list because I really wanted it to be just kind of free-flowing, candid convo, roundtable discussion. But, um, of course, I know we need to put some topics out there. I want to talk about a couple. You mentioned a good one that I talked to my sister about a lot, um, dating younger men. I want to talk about that. Wow. Um, I'm on the oh, fence yeah. with it. I've never done it before. But mm. now that, I don't know if I want to say this cuss word, but pushing 40. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering, do I need to be open today? <laughs> so I'll be 38 on Sunday. So I, I don't know if I'm, I use that term loosely, pushing 40, but. Let's let's say I'm gonna be 38. We ain't gonna use that kind of language right now. But <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know. Okay, I, I'm gonna let you lead because I want you to to lead with how how much you want to tell in, in your situation or whatnot. But I want to know. Is this your first time? Because I never did. I'm a rookie, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to start doing it or not. Do you like it? Is it fun? Pros, cons. Well, um, 
first of all i'll say that i've always dated older guys me too even when i was i was 17 and i met my ex-husband he was 27. Mm -hmm. I lied to my mother and told her that he was 21. Of course, she knew better. Right. But um, I've always dated older. Me too. And, you know, taking eight years off, almost eight years, it would have been eight years. I want to talk about that years, too in a minute. <laughs> um, in August of last year, and I started back then when I was celibate, single. I focused directly on me and learning who I was. And now... You know, getting into the gym and losing weight and, you know, building my self-esteem up now. Hey, I can't amazing. nobody tell me <laughs> nothing. Fitness, I, you yeah. I yeah. love me. And, you know, I decided that I wanted to date younger. Okay. And it has been amazing. Really? Now, two things. Somewhere you gotta kind of tell us what's younger because we need to know what's your age. I think I don't know if that's rude or no, it's not rude. Oh, okay. My age, I'm 41. Okay, 41. I'm 41. So now, what's younger? Well, right now, I'm seeing someone who's 30. I don't think that's bad. Okay, and he's very mature. Like, it took me a long time, like, he tried for a year before I actually said, Okay, Kudos. you know, like so you know, we we hit it off. We hit them and we, we uh, so do you vibe. have the same <laughs> interests? Like, do he like McDonald's and you like Maggiano's? Or, I mean, is it like, I mean, is the interest there? Because that's my worry. Like, are we going to be like, you want to play yeah. Legos and I want to build a real like, number, like Well, some, you know, <laughs> so in some instances, yeah, age is nothing but a number. Okay. And, like, I school really, me, yeah, me. I really <laughs> had to put some thought in it and. You know, he, he doesn't do the McDonald thing. Okay. And that's good for me because I turned over a new leaf of living a healthy lifestyle. Okay. So that helps me. He's actually pescatarian. He's a um, oh. So I am leaning toward eating more seafood, you know, more vegetables and all of that stuff. He's very into um, healthy eating. So that right there has really like just that's helped me. Like that's a plus right? plus, a plus, plus yes. you know. Yes. Okay, then. Yeah. This is what old. you got going on yeah. in your life, and this is what yeah. you're doing. So it matches, yeah. right? Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, how did y'all meet? Like, how do you know this young man? <laughs> this is so funny. This is this is like this I'm is your so mama, funny. right? <laughs> this is so funny. But we actually mm -hmm. met. I was actually driving Lyft. Okay. And his car broke down, and I went to pick them up. And it's strange because he was going to the laundromat. Mm -hmm. And when we got to the laundromat, he was like, um, can I pay you $10 to wait on me? He was going to give me cash. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. that that's against lift rules. You know, I was like, no. <laughs> but something. So he, just so I'm clear, he wanted to wait, you to wait while he, he washed. Wanted to use and the same no, he was just going to pick he up. To keep oh, the just same to pick drive. up. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, he, yeah, but I was wondering how long was he expecting? Like, I didn't know if he had to wash and dry. Like, we needed to wait for two hours. No, 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 no. Okay, no, he just no. running in there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he just didn't want to have to get another drop. Gotcha, so I could be clear. So, but something just was like, wait, you know, because I was going to wait. I think that's my girlfriend calling me, and I asked her to call, too. We can answer it. Hold on one second. Okay. It's 92.3. You're on with Siobhan Noel. Who's calling? Hey, Miss Peach. <laughs> How you, dear? <laughs> Thank you for calling me, and we was just in the middle of some great conversation, but you're right on time, because I know you got to get back to work. Thank you for calling. <laughs> How are you, dear? Good, good. So real quick to tell you who I was in the studio, I have my co-host, Deontay. Say hey, Deontay. Good day to you, Miss Peach. <laughs> and I have my girl, Cherie McNair, in the building. Hi. <laughs> So you're live on air, um, everybody. This is one of my old friends from high school. We met um, like in the ninth grade, I think. I forget. A long time ago. But anywho, I wanted her to come in and call in. Um, she's been sharing a little bit about her dating and all that kind of stuff. And so I said, maybe she can come in and, you know, tell us a little bit about her experiences and stuff like that. How long you got, um, Dangetta? Like two or three minutes? I, I don't want to talk too much. Okay. Put her on the topic. Okay. I, I say she has any, does she know anything about what we're talking about right now? Okay. Well, right now we are talking about dating younger. Have you ever 
<laughs> you did? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Now, what's your current dating status? Are you seeing anybody? You a single lady? What, what's, what you doing right now? You're single? Okay, all righty. So we got a, me single. We got Deontay. He's happily married. We got Miss Cherie McNair. She is dating younger. Okay, so I want to know when you dated younger, how, tell us a little bit, paint that picture. Um, were you skeptical about it or since it was not that big of an age difference, were you completely, you know, all in? Like, how did that start? You know, I was a little skeptical only because of limited beliefs. You know, we believe that, okay, women are going to say more faster. So, technically, I'm like, okay, if you're 32, I'm 36, you're really 28. <laughs> you're 12. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so y'all schooling me today because I have never dated younger. Like, I, my husband was four years my senior, and that was the closest to my age I had ever dated. So I'm accustomed to dating, I mean, not 30 years or nothing crazy, but well over five years older than me. Yeah. So I guess y'all are enlightening me a little bit to be open to or, you know, not be so quick to shun people away. Because when I see, okay, so I have a nephew that's 30 years old. So I changed his diapers. And so when I see a man come to me that's 30 years old, I'm like, I'm old enough to be your mama. That's the way I look at it. Like, like honey. Like. Yeah. 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 So. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow. Really? Okay. So that's interesting. That's interesting to know. I think that's when you say, you know, how I like to say you download whatever, or that's that's what your mind is made up of, what you hear, what you see, that type of stuff. Uh -huh. When you say age is nothing but a number, that can be so true if if you and the same person like the same shows, y'all y'all have done the same things in life. You could be thirty six and that person person could be twenty five. And y'all okay. could be on the same thing. You might be wanting to start a business. They might want to start a business. At that point, now you got to throw age out the, out the window. You might be missing out on a great partner. That's true. If y'all in the same bracket of thoughts, yeah. age is nothing but a number. Right. right. It's only when they're doing immature things that you bring that into consideration or your friend or your, your family member point out, how old is, how old is? <laughs> <laughs> You right. know, every time you bring that man around, his pants sagging, but... If he's and he acting a lollipop. Up to, no, right. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm saying. If everything he's doing match up to his age, then yeah, you're gonna always bring up his age. Right. But if every if you never think about his age, only when you got this concept or something, yeah. then I think you should throw that out. If okay. everything he's doing is up to par and he and he's acting just like the forty two year old guy you just went out with, uh huh. I think you should throw that out the park and just keep giving it a shot before you ruin yourself or sabotage yeah. yourself. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I will. I'm taking notes mentally here. <laughs> yeah, it's, all about, it's all about that communication and just picking each other's brain. That's Team it. Cougar. Don't let, yeah. Ah! Oh, oh yeah. It can't be. Oh, yeah. It needs to be a balance. <laughs> the immature needs to be a balance. Yeah. 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 Y
immature it can be that and it can uh-huh. you know it can bring that little girl up out of it. It just needs yeah. to be a balance. It can't be so immature, it's like, oh my God, yeah. I need to go buy some more pampers for you. Yeah. Like it can't be that bad. <laughs> right. But if he keeping you young and he keeping you smiling, the jokes he got is more refreshing than the old man jokes then run with it. We learn we, we learn a lot from each other. Yeah. Okay. Run with it. I like it. Yes. Okay, then we're gonna revisit this com- this um topic in a minute. But the other topic we were gonna touch on, um, Danietta, was celibacy. And have you ever experienced or tried it? Um, Sheree was just sharing that she had been um without a relationship for eight years. I've never done it before. So is, am I missing something too? Like, is that a whole find yourself type situation? Have you ever done it? Will you do it? What are your thoughts? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, I did it way I didn't know that. Have y'all heard that before? Oh, okay. Sharice heard that before. I got a before. question though. So I'm I'm sitting here with three women, and so I'm gonna ask y'all all. I want just one question. Mm-hmm. When I hear women say they they're practicing or they practice celibacy, does that exclude masturbation? Like, are you going? Are you when you say you're doing celibacy, are you without? Orgasms, period, or you are, That's are a good you, question. or are you without soul ties, like Miss Peach just said? Are you without yeah. allowing other people to to be in your space? Is like, what's your def? What's the definition of celibacy coming from all three of y'all? Nothing. You you cut off everything. Really? Wow. Really. Wanting. I've never done it before. That's a good clarity for me because I've, I've always, I've, I hear people saying that and it's like, come on, come on, <laughs> come on. It's a song or a show or a movie or something that made you just, you know, so, your hand tip, you know, tiptoe down there one, one, two a.m., you know, and, and so I'm hearing two out of the three women say right. everything, everything, everything. Wow. Wow. Now. I How was the transition it, though? Like, is it back, like going back? Well, no, leaving. Like, is it like trying to leave Cold me turkey. or <laughs> yeah? Like, I mean, because I want a hamburger. So you know, like, how do you just? <laughs> I, was, I was just done. I didn't put myself in harm's way. Like, okay. I dating. I didn't um, sit around and watch R and B music. Right. You know, things I didn't look you. at uh, certain things on TV. You know, I just kind of kept my mind off of, gotcha. you know, other things like that. Okay. Um, but I will say, it doesn't take that long. Because I said almost eight years. I don't know if I'll do it again. And that's because um, I know that it's, it's for us to get. Okay? I feel like that is a part of uh, our makeup. We are supposed to do it's that. It's part because, of the hierarchy. Right, what right. Man's love. Right, right, right. Triangle. Right. I can't think of the name right now. Yeah. yeah. But I would say that if it's you human need. if you have dated a whole lot like me, I, I started early at an early age, and I'm not afraid to tell anybody. <laughs> but when you, you know, do things to where you just really lose yourself, mm-hmm. it helps to refrain from that because you need to find out who you really are. You know, and that is one thing that that really triggered me. I was like, man, after I was like, okay, who was this person? Like, it was just like I was a whole new person, really? you know. And wow. now, okay. I mean, used to I would just go and 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 get anything. Now I'm I'm very picky. Yes, you know ma'am. what I'm saying. Okay, you know, good. I got some real class like about it. myself. Yes. Now. You know, yes, absolutely. I love that. Okay. What's your experience, Donietta? Like, how long did you 
um, practice. Is that the right term? Should I say like a religion practice? Yeah. I mean, or okay. Yeah. Realistic. Do y'all think that's a realistic or unrealistic concept to wait till marriage? Okay. That's all I was going to say. I think it, it's definitely possible to wait till marriage. But like we were saying with Sharif, you have to meet somebody in that same place of mind. Like, yeah. right. like let's say Sharif had just finished her celibacy mm-hmm. and she got back out there and somebody and another male just got a divorce or something like that. Neither one of them are probably trying to fulfill their lust right this second. Okay. Both of them are probably just looking for a great conversation or somebody who can get in their mind or uh, stimulate them on a staple sexual level. Right, you know what right. I mean? Both people are probably looking for that. And if they both have that conversation, say, hey, I don't want to I don't want to lose what it is that we are bonding on once we have sex. So let's go ahead and just wait or let's two, three months. Let's see, do we really like each other? Okay. I can see that because um, it's, a, it's a couple out right now and they do music. His name is like an African name. But he did the song uh, Try Jesus. Oh. Him and his girl, like from my understanding, they had they practiced abstinence before they got married, and so it's very doable. It's and very Megan, doable. I, I think Megan Good and her husband did as well. If I'm and not I can mistaken, see that. and I can see that, and um, I I haven't heard anything negative about them. It looks like their relationship is going. We're very great. happy, if right. you, you know, from the outside looking in. It gives right. you a chance to really get to know one each other before you allow the sex to make y'all be in each other's face every day. If that, right. if that makes sense. Once we have sex, we in each other's face because of that. For the most part. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If we keep talking and keep building and laughing and, and doing this intimate part, oh, man, we unbreakable. Right. By the time we do the sex, that's just an A+. plus. Right. Yeah. What were you going to say, Donnyetta, your cousin did? And they in the level? Sheesh, I almost <laughs> called you a liar. <laughs> and I... <laughs> good friend of mine as well that did the same in Atlanta as well but they were in Orlando when they got married excuse me so mm-hmm. but um that but they were both virgins so this was they were both young that's different. yeah so that's a whole that's different a perspective different. yes too um so let me throw another monkey wrench in there y'all so what if you, you does it scare you that the sex may not be good if you wait till marriage absolutely yeah. okay <laughs> yeah hell yeah no <laughs> Yeah. Now, when I spoke to other mature women, uh-huh. uh, most mature women always say the same thing. Uh-huh. You can teach him what you like, but then when I spoke to other women, it's like I, I beg I, to I, I'm not getting what I like, and this is putting me in a place where I'm, I'm in between a rock and a hard. Some place. aren't teachable. It's if okay. he's willing to learn. Right. He's got to be willing to learn. 
willing to learn and That's then true. folks be trying to negate the fact that they actually <laughs> like different sizes like yeah. women <laughs> Tell the truth. I'm, just, I'm saying tell the truth because sometimes you hear people say, oh, we can make it work. They, they teachable, they trainable, and this and that. And no, not if his body ain't the way you want it to be. Be honest with yourself. Yeah, I don't think so. Too. Not in every, some things are. But if it's just a complete left field, I don't know if I can bring him back over here. Like if, right. if he playing football and I'm playing jump rope, like, you know, I mean, dude, like, yeah. If I was to get with somebody and I'm talking about everything is on point, yeah. cooking is on point, she's slay when she dressed, beautiful person, business oriented. All, if she's all of that and we get to the bedroom and all she want to do every single time is lay back on her back like, I can't never get you to do nothing else. It's just always the same old missionary. Just, uh, bless her little heart. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not, that's not going to work. That's going to work. I mean, that sounds like something you can tell somebody, hey, baby, hey, let's try this. But Roll over, honey. Okay? Yeah, real talk, real talk. But if, if that's all you getting and she's a pillow princess slash back, you know, just lay on, we're going to have to just be friends. Uh, because what that's going to do, I think, is you're going to have these things you want to do or that you want to accomplish, yeah. and you're just going she years really. and years without doing it. And it's just, like I said, putting you in between a rock and a hard place. Right. Am I going to cheat or am I going to you cheat am I gonna leave? Yeah. You gonna cheat? Cause you heard all the other stuff I said. She got good. All that other stuff. He gonna tell himself, I don't want to leave her. Yeah. I just need this. And that is important. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Right. Gotta communicate it. Take the good. I want to replace good woman with if she in love with you. If she really in love with you, she gonna she gonna do. It. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know a good woman that don't want to massage her husband's feet. She's the great. She's a great woman. She just she Ooh, don't want to massage yeah, her I, feet. Well, I feel like everybody has boundaries though. So does that take her away from being a great woman for that no, one I thing? Want to stress that okay. Part. She's a great woman. Yeah. She just don't want to Because I don't think feet. I like massaging feet either. Yeah. yeah. And so it don't matter how in love with him you are, how I, much I, you know I, he I'll would never, massage your feet sitting next to lava. I would never <laughs> say never. I will say that. I'll never say never. But I'm I Not am scared thing. of feet. Yeah, like leave them things outside. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh. and it's like I don't know why, where I got that from. I couldn't even call it, but I, yeah, he got to have some pretty feet. All I can say is, are are you prepared to tell him, hey, babe, that's not my thing, but I can compensate. What else you got? Put something else on the table. Let's see if Maybe I like that. Maybe he gotta that. go get a pedic <laughs> pedicure with me every two weeks. Yeah, I about to say maybe he gotta go get a pedicure with me every two weeks. Boil him before he get in the bed. And I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's it's workoutable. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. But the first time he asked me, I probably say no. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I wanted to finish hearing about um how Sheree met. Oh yes, yeah. yes. Okay. <laughs> Tell us that how you doing on time, Danietta. Well, we ain't got but nine minutes left in the show anyway, but <laughs> So we were at the laundromat and <laughs> it's so funny because we talk about it a lot. He said he's still mad with me, but um, something in me was saying, wait, mm -hmm. at this time, I wasn't even thinking about him. Like literally when I pulled up, I'm like, who is that? He ugly. Like, I mean, I'm just like, saying, hey. like I was, and I told him, I was I'm like, oh, he weird, you know, and I waited. I waited on him, and actually, we we exchanged phone numbers because I was trying to get him as a client. Mm -hmm. I was trying to, you know, do his dreads. I was trying to make some money. Gotcha. And it just led from there. Okay. And, um, so now, how long y'all been dating now? We've been dating now since June. Okay. Yeah, okay. but we he has been trying since last year, like I said, you know. Right. But finally... I was like, okay, Game I'm going to try it. Yeah, that's what's up. 
So, Danietta, to bring you up to speed real quick, Cherise telling us about the gentleman that she's dating now. He's <coughs> younger. How, how, what's the age difference again? He's, he's 30. 30, and I'm 41. And she's 41, and she's enjoying it. She's having a good time. <laughs> ah, yes, ma'am. All right, now, well, maybe you'll... Um, you inspire me because I, I had a similar story. So I've driven, um, not live, um, yes, lived before. Met a gentleman. He was to me. He was a baby. I don't even know how much old he was. But he the whole ride asked me for my number. I said, "Don't ask me that no more." <laughs> <laughs> so I guess maybe I need to go back and find. No, <laughs> he might, he, he no I'm goodbye. kidding. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You guys, you all are tuned in to Hits 92.3, the real definition of internet radio. It's your girl, Siobhan Noel, and we are having candid conversation. To those of you that just tuned in, we have Miss Peach on the phone. We have our awesome co-host, Mr. Deontay. So, I got another question. <laughs> He's so funny, right? So, when you make the decision to be a Cooper, right? Because, like, in your mind, you done told yourself. Listen, like, in your mind, you done told yourself, I'm... I'm X amount of years old. Uh-huh. But I think I like this little boy. Or whatever you want to word. Somebody's son, right? But like I said earlier, when I hear the word cougar, mm -hmm. I immediately think, you looking for a good time. Yeah, me too. It, so I'm, I'm not wrong for that. I'm I don't not think wrong so. What are y'all like, ladies? I mean, it's okay. I mean, I know. I mean, you know, I'm secure. But it's okay. Well, I'm just saying, when you see, if I was out and I was on a date and I seen an older woman or, or well, yeah, we're talking about cougars. If I seen an older woman with a younger guy, Immediately, I'm thinking she need she need her plumbing done. Like that's immediately that's that's the first thing. I'm not thinking to myself they had so much in common, or you know that's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking to myself they caught eyes and somewhere he the sparkling hills told her, hey, I knocked the dust off that, you know, and she and she went with it. That that's my she mind when like, I think of cool. Yeah, if if because I don't look. 41. A lot nope. of people think I'm nope. 25, 28 years old, and I like that. Mm -hmm. You should. Um, so if, if if the person was older and looked old or whatever, then I would say that. But me, if I don't tell them I'm 41, they'll never they don't know. They don't know. Right. And yeah. the personality don't don't hurt it either. <laughs> That's well, um, we got a little bit more time, but I want to, before we hop off, all of you ladies have stuff going on. So I want to share that real quick, too, because I don't want time to come and go, and we haven't plugged and shared and all that which y'all have going on. Um, Dianetta, you run first, and then we'll circle around to Miss Cherie, and um, you're saying that you do, you are a life coach, right, Dianetta? Okay, tell us a little bit about that and how we can find you. Okay. And I'll post I repost it on my um social media platform for for our listeners as well. But tell them a little bit about what you offer in your coaching. Okay. Okay. Your budget. Okay. Okay. I love it. I love it. Donietta, thank you. You were at work and everything, and you took some time for us today. We appreciate you. I love you for that, dear. Appreciate the call. Yes, in. yes. We have to do it again. We'll we'll yes. chit chat off. Yes, ma'am. But yes, we're come to the for studio you. <laughs> to MLK Drive. <laughs> All right, Miss McNair, tell us who you are. Tell us what you do. And all about this book I see. Oh, yeah. wow. She got two of them over there. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh. Actually, um, I'm Cherie McNair. Um, I am from Mississippi, but I've been here in um, Atlanta for the last three years. Um, I am a master cosmetologist, um, nail tech, 
author, motivational speaker, social media influence, and I am a fitness guru. Um, I'm just a busy woman. I'm just trying to get to the next level. Um, and I, um, my first book is called Rejected to be Released from Fear to Freedom. Um, and that's it right here. And my second book um, is a writer's vision journal. And I do have a third book that I collaborated with 16 authors from Mississippi and it's titled Purpose, um, where we share um, our purpose in a book and it is outstanding. Um, I, I, it's just so much. Sometimes <laughs> I just really forget about all the stuff that I do. But one of the main things that I love to do is I love to motivate. I love to uh, show people that the bigger picture. I love to show people that it doesn't matter where you are currently, that you don't have to stay there. But if you change your mindset, you can you can just, the, the sky's not even the limit no more. You can go over yes, and beyond so that, that <laughs> you know, but it's it's just all about mindset and everybody nowadays want to be a millionaire and that is so good but my thing is you first have to have it in the mind first once you get that thing in the mind and you get your plans and you write out your vision your goals and you execute then that's when you begin to see those millions come in the bank right. I'm not a millionaire in on the on my bank account just yet but I am working on it um, and also, I'm on Facebook, Sheree McNair, Instagram, Sheree McNair. Um, my books are on Amazon. Um, just hit me up. I love it. I love it. Deontay, tell the people who you are. How can they find you? And I want you to be sure you start telling them how to book you for singing. Cause he, he can blow that. Oh, wow. Yes. He used to be so modest over I there. Go, I go crazy. Well, <laughs> I ain't going to say that right now. Well, my name is Deontay. You can find me on Instagram at Mr. Melody 33. Again, on Instagram at Mr. Melody 33. Um, right now, I've been doing shows with Siobhan, and I'm loving it, being the co-host on the show. <laughs> I have music recorded. I'm just in a place, uh, I, I, I guess we could say mentally, as far as where I, what I want to do with it. Um, before COVID, I was all R&B. After COVID, seeing what's going on in the country, dealing with my marriage, dealing with my family, I'm just, I'm trying to see. But when I do put it out, because my daughter won't allow me to, to let this talent go to waste, when every chance she get my seven-year-old come around it, yes. me and she starts singing my songs. When, just when I think she done forgot them, she starts singing my songs. Beautiful. Know I'm better than me. Beautiful. Know I'm better than me. So she won't let me forget. I done made a promise and a vow to her and myself. At some point, the music will come out. I have to fix my mental though. And my emotions. But again, you can reach me on social media, uh, Mr. Melody33. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, I guess I'll plug me real quick before we wrap okay. it up. I am your girl, Siobhan Noel. Um, I am owner of Amazing Business Concepts. That was my first business, y'all. And that's one I'm probably most proud of. Because I um, literally just started that business with a hope and a prayer. Didn't have a clue what I was doing. Um, and God truly blessed me with that business. Um, really just started as virtual assistant. And now it's a full consulting firm where I've staffed people's full of administrative support, um, project management, got government contracts. I have really went places with that business. Um, I helped implement the first community improvement district in Clayton County. God is good, y'all. He no. is good. Um, I So ABC under Amazing Business Concepts, but also ABC under that, then Blue Boutique and Studio. Um, my, my brick and mortar is closed, but you guys can find me on social media for any of your clothing and styling needs. Blue Boutique and Studio 007. Um, and then my self friend Siobhan Noel, which had kind of serves a dual purpose with my Bonnie in the City. Um, it's now a media brand. I am a self published author, um, Good Grief, Viewing Life's Tribulations Through an Optimistic Lens, a motivational speaker. I can speak on platforms from two to three people um, to the point where I've been blessed to speak to the student body of Clark Atlanta University and so many other places, people's churches. Um, God is really good. I, I can't take credit for any of it. I, I always say God just shows up and shows out. Y'all, I don't have a degree. I don't have any credentials that say that I should be doing all this. 
It's just God. It really yeah. is. Um, I'm the founder of the Power Panel. Um, also, the um, umbrella or the tier underneath that is Pink Boots on the Ground, where we mitigate against human trafficking. Um, I am a 2019 and 2020 Senate resolution recipient for those efforts. Um, Donzella James is our um, adopted senator. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot going on, but um, yeah, I, we probably have to save some of it for, for the next show because it's a lot. But um, you guys tune in because we need to make this a part two. Maybe we need to revisit this next Sunday um, to talk about all, all the rest of our honeydews that we got going on and, and finish this love and relationship because it was good. It was good, this candid conversation. <laughs> always, always. As long as we keep the real being open-minded, I don't think it can ever go wrong. Yeah. Well, you guys catch us next week next Sunday, 8 p.m. Hits 92.3, the real definition of internet radio. It's been real, y'all, and we're out. Peace. <laughs> Good night. Thank you, Donetta. <laughs> I knew you was from Mississippi. You did? With the I accent. Just, uh, the accent. It's just she got a look to it. She does. Oh, yeah. it's in your face. Mississippi like, flowing through her bag. Yeah, that ain't a bad thing at all. <laughs> yes. You don't got the Atlanta look. So I knew you weren't from Atlanta, and I knew you weren't from Alabama, and so I had said Mississippi. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's so much. Sometimes I literally get not confused, but I'm like, what?